I've been using that computer for about a couple of years now. I built that, I believe that is an AM4 motherboard with a Ryzen 5600 CPU. I actually came from a Ryzen 3600. I've, I am very slow, right? Whenever I upgrade on PC because I'm also a console gamer, as you probably know. So I only upgrade my PC once in a while. So the CPU is 5600 and the video card or the GPU is 6800. However, recently, uh, because I've been playing Path of Exile 2, which I absolutely love. If you haven't heard or if you haven't played Path of Exile 2, I highly encourage you to play that. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I'm just addicted to it right now. Probably 150 hours already, but that is just crazy. I, I wish Jablo could have been that good. But anyway, I've been playing Path of Exile 2 and I can feel that um, it's, you know, it's being slow on my system. Now, I know the RX 6800 is not really a, a really fast GPU, right? I think it's just mid-range. Uh, it's not really as fast as 3080 or 4080, of course, 5080 for that matter. But as far as I know, I've been playing, you know, older games and other games before and it's been fine, right? But this one, this time, I noticed that it's, it's kind of like, it's torturing, right? The problem is it, it actually hits 60, no problem. But there will be times that it's just going to go as slow as 20, 25s. And it's it's just a stuttering mess, right? I thought it's like a unique PC, you know, issue. But apparently it's just CPU, uh, you know, throttling down. So I actually did my research a little bit and found that this AMD processor, this is a Ryzen 57, Ryzen 7, right? Ryzen 7 5700X. 3D, right? Is actually the best value uh, CPU right now for gaming, right? This is an older one as well, uh, Zen 3, I believe. Uh, this is for AM4 motherboard. Again, I'm not ready to go on AM5 yet. I'm pl I'm I'm planning to go to probably AM6 or even AM7 again. Like you heard me earlier, I don't upgrade that fast on PC. It looks like the 3d cpu right from ryzen lineup the one that has a 3d denoted there let me see if i can you can see that so it says 5700 x 3d it looks like that you know processor with 3d is really really good for gaming right so again i'm using 5600 um ryzen uh, 5 however that actually runs on higher clock speed than this one this one only runs three gigahertz now i'm very I'm very kind of like probably outdated already in PC specs and whatnot because on, on my mind, it's still like higher clock speed, you know, means faster, but not necessarily, apparently not necessarily on, on Ryzen CPU with this um, AMD 3D V cache technology. So it looks like the, the L3 cache of this is really like boosted, I think 96 MB or something like that, but we're going to check it out later on on the specs. but. Yeah, I'm very, very interested to see if it will remove this totterness, right? The mess on my, um, you know, gaming. I don't really game on 4K or a higher one. I only game on um, 2K, right? I'll bet I'm using this 55-inch uh, OLED TV. But what I do, especially in Path of Exile 2, is I actually play on 2K only and even like upscale it, right? FSR or other upscaling out there. And that will render it in even lower um, resolution, like 1080p. And I think that's where this comes in, right? At least the bottlenecking, because if the native resolution is 1080p, or at least the rendered resolution is just 1080p, it will bottleneck your CPU, right? If you're using like a really powerful GPU, but your CPU cannot cope up. So that's where I'm going to, uh, or that's where I'm coming from. And that's why I purchased the CPU to see if it will remove those bottlenecks, right? So let me go ahead and install this right now and run some benchmark as well and uh, let you know if it's if it's worth it to buy Ryzen 7 5700X3D right now, February 2025. You will also, by the way, you'll also see the Ryzen 5800X3D. That's actually the very first um, choice that I have. However, it's, it's a little bit more expensive. I can even say it's it's much more expensive than this one for just very little improvement, right? When I check the benchmarks or whatever in the video in the YouTube, it's just around three to probably five FPS stops, but then I will have to pay substantially more for that. So I think this is the best buck 
for uh, you know for the value right best value I believe this only costs around 150 to 200 250 by default but you know it's on sale right now you can actually purchase this for around 170 but let me go ahead and install this right now and let's see how it goes